Did it work? Okay. Um, so let's try this one. Uh, draw the condensed and bottom line structure of this formula. So personally, the first thing I would do maybe is draw the bottom line formula, you know, because it's easier for me to do. So the first thing I would do is count my carbons in my longest chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So draw something that has seven carbons. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the third carbon here, there's two methyl groups. So one, two, three. Put the two methyl groups there. And then we go to four, five, six carbon. There's a methyl group. So two, three, four, five, six. Put the methyl group there. So that's that structure in bond line form. Now let's go ahead and condense this structure, which might be a little more straightforward. Okay. So you just squish the H's into all the C's, okay? So I'll show you what I mean. So the first one is C H3. Then we go to C H2. And then C, but off of this C there's no H's, but there's these two methyl groups. So we'll just put one of them, C H3 there, the other one. CH3 there, so we're on carbon 4 now. CH2, carbon 5, CH2, carbon 6, CH, but there's this methyl group up, so CH3, and then of course the last carbon, CH3. I think the key to something like this would be uh, really to label the carbons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and whatever, because then you can actually count when you're doing your other structures where you actually are on this structure.